everyone and welcome to another episode of Budgie's Blazing uh, vlog or vlog. I keep doing that each week. I'm not quite sure what I'm calling it yet. I'm going to stick with vlog, I think, because that makes more sense. Um, what I've done this week is I am going to change the format of um, how I'm going to do my kind of vlogging and reviewing of hot sauces. So what I've been doing up until now in the first couple of episodes is... Um, doing two at a time, but I think what, what makes more sense is to do one at a time and to to kind of keep the episode a little bit shorter so that you guys don't get bored and we just focus on one product for the entire duration of the review. So um, what, as I've said before in my two uh, previous vlogs, if there is anything that you guys think that I am not doing right, that I could be doing better, it'd be great to get your feedback. Um, really, really welcome to hearing your suggestions. Um, if you've got any ideas for guests, I would love to have some guests on the show. So I'm actually trying to rope in some of my family at the moment, but they seem a bit resistant. I'm not quite sure why. Um, it's quite a nice day out there today. Um, it's a Friday, so I'm assuming they're all at work or in the sun. Um, so let's get started with this week's vlog. So we have the... Um, Peckham Sauce Co's Batch 1 Hot Sauce. Um, so this is what it looks like over here. Again, what I'll do is I will try and get a close-up put up for you guys. Um, it's quite a really, really distinct bottle, actually. Um, it almost looks like one of those old-school um, medicine bottles. When I was a kid and I used to have a sore throat, I used to go to the doctors and they used to give me this kind of banana or strawberry, strawberry flavoured concoction that actually didn't taste that great. And I remember it being in quite similar bottles to this. So it does almost remind me of that kind of um, medicine style bottle, but I think it's a really, really cool look and something that really stands out on the shelves. I picked this up from Hot Burns and Black in East Dulwich. I'm sure all you hot uh, sauce fans out there know exactly what, um, what I'm talking about, where that shop is and what they do. Um, they specialize in um, specialist beers, vinyl and hot sauces, hence hot burns and black. And they've actually got a new branch that's opened up quite recently over in Deptford by the, by the station there. Giving those guys a little shout out. We do love you guys. Jen and Glenn, whoop whoop. <laughs> okay, so let's crack on. So we've got the Peckham Sauce Co's Batch 1 Hot Sauce. Now, um, I've kind of looked at the bottle already. What I really do like is the simplicity of the label. It's really, really nicely done. Some people might actually say it's a bit wanky because it's so simple and um, it's kind of uh, that kind of whole gentrified. Peckham has become gentrified, let's be honest, guys. Um, but I think it's a really, really good looking bottle and I really love the label. I like what the guys are doing. Um, the label isn't actually straight. Now, I don't know if you can see, the label is actually wonky and I really like that. It shows that it's kind of handmade. The guys have been probably sticking on the labels themselves um, and I really do like that about kind of what they've done there. Now, moving on to their actual labelling. So it does say Peckham Sauce Co's Batch 1 Hot Sauce. Now, when I actually brought this and looked at it, I wasn't sure. I actually thought Batch 1 was the first ever batch that they had produced, as in made in the kitchen. But doing a little bit more research, what, what Batch 1 is, is that it's their first and kind of their all-round hot sauce, if you like. So Batch 1 is their kind of signature hot sauce because a little bit further down here it says batch number and in handwriting it says five. So I mean that could be slightly confusing that it's called batch one and the actual batch number is five, but batch one, I do like the name, it does actually mean that it's their first hot sauce and what they have said is that it's their kind of good all rounder and a really nice strong hot sauce. I couldn't actually find that much more information on them when I did some research online. Um, I did try and find out if it's kind of a man or a woman that's running the business, a group of people, when they will start, when they got started, but I couldn't actually find that much information. What I do know is that the sauce is made and produced in Peckham, hence Peckham Sauce Co. Um, and that's about it really. Um, I know that they're kind of stocked across London and various independent outlets. Um, and in terms of that, that's as far as I know. Looking at the social media, I couldn't actually see kind of um, anything relating to a specific person or a group of people that actually are producing this sauce. So I'll crack on um, with the sauce. So let's get this open. Enough of the talking from me. I've been talking too much already. So, oh, um, okay, great. So it's a fermented hot sauce. It contains Dutch chilies, 
scotch bonnet chilies, water, salt, vinegar, garlic, paprika, coriander seeds, mustard seeds, and uh, cardamom and sugar. So I'm actually quite liking the balance of what they've got in there because they've got lots of nice Indian spices and kind of Asian type spices with the paprika, the coriander seeds, the mustard seeds, the cardamom. So let's give this a go. Now it's quite a very, very bright red actually. It's, um, it, it is a really, really strong and vibrant coloured sauce. I'm going to pour this out. What I'm going to do first is just actually give it a little shake because it has been sitting um, in my kitchen for a few days. Let's get this poured out. Quite a nice texture, te sorry, texture, texture I mean. Um, it, is, um, it is very, very smooth, the sauce, so there is definitely no kind of lumps and bumps and texture in there as such. It is a nice kind of um, smooth, not too runny, so it's not runny like a Tabasco. Um, it does stay kind of in the plate. It's not really moving around too much, which I quite like. So there is good consistency, but there is no texture to the sauce. Um, as soon as I've opened it, I can actually smell it. And I think what I'm smelling there is, I'm smelling the fruitiness of the scotch bonnet. I'm getting some of the vinegar through that. Um, so let's give it a go. Wow. That is very, very interesting. So... Initially, what I'm getting from that is a really, really nice tang. I'm definitely getting through the, um, looking back at the ingredients, I'm definitely getting through kind of the flavour in terms of the, the vinegar, the salt and everything else. It's actually quite spicy. Bear with me on this, I need to take my time. Let's go again. What I'm trying to do is put the sauce onto different parts of my tongue to see if I'm getting different tastes along the tongue, excuse me, <coughs> along the tongue rather than just placing it on one side. So I'm actually moving the sauce around the front to the back of my tongue to see what I'm tasting. Now, um, in terms of flavour, I do really like that. That's a very nice hot sauce. It's got... It's got a really, really good heat. If you like chilli and you can handle your hot sauces and, you know, you're like, oh, I need hot sauce of everything, this is a really good all-rounder. And I can see why now it's called their batch one because it has got that really nice um, appeal to the wider chilli heads out there that would need the heat as well as some kind of flavour. What I would say, though, is that I'm definitely getting scotch bonnets. I'm getting kind of the salt, the vinegar, um, the sugar in that. What I'm definitely not getting is any of those spices. So I can't taste nothing in terms of coriander seeds, mustard seeds or cardamom. And I'm not sure if that's because of quantities or if it's because I'm just get then getting the heat without actually getting any of those spices in the sauce. I'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing. It's just because I've seen it on the ingredients, I can't taste it. So it's almost as if they could be left off and you wouldn't actually taste it. I'm gonna give this another go. It's got a really, really good flavour. It's spicy. You're getting the kind of initial hit of the um, the freshness of the, the um, vinegar and the salt. And then you get the heat of the scotch bonnets and of the um, Dutch chilies. Now, personally speaking, I have tried Dutch chilies before. I've tried the raw variety. However, I think because scotch bonnets are such a fruity and quite um, powering chilli that I'm not quite sure if I'm tasting the Dutch chilies kind of on their own. Like I'm not kind of feeling them as an undertone, although the heat of the chilli is kind of, it keeps on going, so that's not necessarily a bad thing. I do like this and I would actually definitely go out there and buy this hot sauce. What I would say though is it would work really well with kind of everything you're eating, kind of breakfast, eggs, lunch, dinner. However, I am a little bit disappointed that I can't taste as many of those Indian spices of the coriander seeds, mustard seeds and cardamom. And I think overall they, the guys, Peckham Sauce Co, have definitely done a good job. I'm saying guys because I don't know if they're girls or boys. Um, however, I don't know whether they could potentially up some of their, you know, some of their ingredients in terms of the spices because I was really looking forward to, to getting a little bit more out of that. Um, overall, this is a really, generally a really, really good hot sauce. Um, it's got a really good heat. Um, I'd say kind of it is on the scale edging towards kind of a, what would I say that would be? Kind of 
for you chili heads out there, I would say it's a hotter version um, of a kind of Scot general scotch bonnet sauce. It's got a bit more heat and a bit more about it, which I do like. Um, and I think you can really see that the guys are hand making that and it's coming through. Maybe a little bit more texture would actually be nice in the sauce too. Um, overall, what I'm going to do in terms of rating, because I like the labelling, I like what the guys are doing, I'm going to give them a 3 out of 5, which I think is a really, really solid um, my, uh, rating uh, for the sauce. So that is the Peckham Sauce Coast Batch 1 Hot Sauce. There we go.